Hello guys, welcome once again to another YouTube tutorial session on Python programming for biologists. I release a new video every Tuesday, so you should always be checking for notifications. In today's session, I'm going to solve this exercise that I displayed in my previous video. You can watch it right there. And so I thought it's wise that I'm solve these questions so that the viewers can compare with your answers and then make adjustments. So the question says you should use this DNA sequence here to solve the underneath questions. So that's what we are going to do. So the first question says what? You should find the number of nucleotides. Second question is to calculate percentage GC. Third is to find prints number four, pyrimidines, and then the final question is to calculate the percentage of purines in the sequence. So first of all, we need to create the DNA sequence. It's going to be a string. And so we do that first. So once we are done, we can proceed for the rest of the questions. And by the way, I'm using a Jupyter notebook but you can also use any code editor that runs Python and you'll get uh, the same results. So first of all, let's look at the first question. Okay, so I've made it a comment so that it becomes more like a head in a title. So how many nucleotides are present? That means we are going to find the length. So to find the length, it's what? Len and then the sequence. In this case, we assign it to the variable DNA. So that becomes the sum. Now let's also print it. Okay. Now we print it so that, I mean, it becomes more understandable. So we add some strings to it, I mean, a statement. So let's say, okay, so Python allows you to use comma to separate statements in the print function. Okay, so we can now issue a print statement. So it says number of nucleotides is 13. And if you count it manually, you get that answer. The next question is to find what's the percentage GC. So to find the percentage GC, we first need to find a total number of GCs and then we divide by what? The total length of the DNA sequence multiplied by 100. So let's find the GC. So GC will be what? DNA dot count. So the number of genes plus what? The number of Cs. That will give us a GC. We already know the length of the DNA, which is number of nucleotides. So, percentage GC. Let's make it more elegant. So, let's read with the length again. Length will be equal to length. Length of DNA will be equal to length DNA. And now, percentage GC. It becomes GC divided by length of DNA multiplied by 100. So here again, you can print it here. And then we add our value. So the answer is 46.1538 and some other decimal places. Now we can refine this answer 
to two decimal places. Okay, so if you want to round it to two decimal places, you can just issue a statement here. Let's just make it here. So let's just say DC rounded. So to find the decimal places, we use the keyword here, round. And then we give the number that we want to round to, to the small place. In this case, JC percentage. And then the decimal places, which in this case is 2. So now we can print it. Let's just say JC percentage JC rounded and then the hearts bring the rounded so now you see so we have the percentage GC and then the percentage GC which is rounded good and if made it this far I will say great job the third question is to find parents Now, parents are what? The A's and G's. That's adenines and guanine. So, to find the number of parents means the total number of A's and the G's. So, parents will be because for DNA dot count A plus DNA dot count G. So, now we can print. Good. So that gives us 9. The next question to find the number of pyrimidines. And now in the sequences, we are dealing with a DNA sequence here. And so the number of the pyrimidines are going to be hot. The C's and the T's, that's the cytosine and then timing. If it were to be RNA, then it's going to be C's and then use okay but this is dna sequence so c and then t and so number of pyrimidines okay so pyrimidines you cost what dna dot count c's and dna dot counts so now we can print it and then we see what pyramidians and that will give us four and finally we calculate for the percentage of parents. So calculating the percentage of parents will follow a similar approach as calculating for GC. Meaning that we find the number of parents, we divide by the length of the DNA sequence, multiplied by 100. Since we have already counted the number of parents, we will just do a straightforward computation. So it's going to be hot. Percentage parents is equals what? Parents over hot. Length of DNA multiplied by hot, 100. Now you can print it. That's what percentage parents that gives us the answer why don't we round it to two decimal place okay so let's use a different we can do it straight away so let's do it here
and then we do round percentage range two. So we are good to go. Okay, so we get the answer also here. And I want to say congratulations to all my viewers who have been able to solve the questions. And also for those who are solving, I'll say keep on the hard work. This brings me to the end of the tutorial for this week. And I'll see you again next week. This is BH Computing and I wish you happy coding. Bye-bye.